Welcome back to YouTube. I'd tell you I'd bring you an um, update on the Gamo Wildcat Whisper. Um, I was having trouble with it. Um, if you can remember the last time um, with the rings on the scope uh, coming loose at, in between 5 and 10 shots. After about 10 shots the, the uh, scope rings would start to get loose. So I put a drop of Loctite in each one and it's got out here. It seems to be doing a whole and much better and I shot it some yesterday and what I noticed yesterday is that the uh, lock ring screw on the eyepiece had loosened up on me today. So I tightened it back down earlier. Um, I guess these, these guns take a lot of jolt with that uh, piston going back and forth in there. And um, another thing that I've learned is from watching uh, other people on YouTube is that the, the gun likes something of a soft up under the forearm on it. So I got me a cloth up under there where it won't be on that hard uh, piece on the shooting rail. Uh, but anyhow, I got out here and shot it a few times this evening, messing with it, and I hadn't got it set all the way in or anything, but I've been trying out different pellets and uh, seeing which ones it likes. Now, I know it don't like them coppers. That's, uh, I think, 10.6 grain or something like that. And I know it don't like them. The uh, Premier Destroyer is okay. I mean, but they're not shooting a grouping like I would like. And the point, it, I don't know, in my gun, it, they just seems to fly all over the paper. Um, I like the way the Destroyer looks, but... I might have to, if they make a higher grain for it, I might need to try a higher grain if they make a 7.9 grain or 8 point something. But the hollow points, they seem to do okay. I mean, they shoot all around the uh, bullseye in my gun, but not, not really holding a consistent grouping. But now these three are the ones that seem to shoot the best in it. Um, the red fire and... I forgot what the grain is on them at seven point something. Then you have your uh, your, your Gamo Magnums, and I think they're seven point five grain, and the Hunter and at seven point five six grain. But but these three seems to do fairly well in it, especially the Gamo Hunter and the Red Fire. But anyhow. This evening I'm going to just shoot the uh, Gamos here, the Hunter, for a 5 range uh, group at 20 yards and see what it'll do. And like I say, I don't have it set all the way in, but we just could check it. Uh, sun's going down here, so and I'm here by myself filming, so just bear with me and give me a minute to get over here and get set up. And I'll try to get the camera steadied up and everything to try to get where we can see down range down there. Just bear with me a minute. And I'm gonna try to shoot at the middle bullseye. This is with the Gamma Hunter. We'll give it five shots and see what it does. This pellet felt a little loose in there, but most of them out the Gamma Hunter are tight, but this one felt a little loose, but we'll see where it goes.
Like I say, we could try a five shot group with the Gamble Hunter. Because the rifle seemed to like them yesterday when I was out here messing with it before that eye relief uh, lock ring got loosened up on me. Well, let's go see. We check it out and see how it's done. And like I say, it's 20 yards and it's a dime-sized target. All I did was took a magic marker and drawed out a circle in the paper. And them Gamo Hunters seemed to be shooting good yesterday before that eye ring. Oh, yeah. I mean... That's four out to five in that dime circle at 20 yards. That, that last shot dropped down. And I see there's fly back right there, but these are the four, and we had one drop. So that ain't bad on that. Rifle seems to like the Gamma Hunter, and the Red Fire seemed to do good on them. Maybe on the next video I'll try out the uh, Red Fire and check them out, because yesterday when I was out you just checking groupings they seem to be doing exceptionally well and I mean I was in a hurry this evening to get everything the wind just kind of calmed down here and everything oh by the way I'll show you um after shooting so many times with a pellet gun at a target <laughs> that's what's left I got to get me a better uh, brace I mean, that's half-inch board right there. A lot of them you see stuck in there was uh, wad cutter pellets that I was starting off with before my other pellets come in. But these uh, other pellet, hunter pellets and uh, destroyer pellets and all that, they did a, a job on that half-inch piece of board in this tree. Um, oh, there's nothing down in there behind it. It's just woods and all that, so nothing to worry about it getting past the target no houses or anything back behind there just woods and all that where deer's at but um yeah that's where i'm shooting from there but uh anyhow we'll keep you up to date on it and like and subscribe and as i learn about it and everything i'll keep you updated on how it goes and but like i say later on i get another scope and in the year but till then I'll keep messing with this one and whatever comes loose I'll figure out what the problem is and how to tighten it down or get it better and keep you updated and if anybody has any comments or suggestions uh, leave them down in the box below and everything but like and subscribe see you later YouTube